Welcome back. Let's do a quick walk around of the tow vehicle and my rig here. So this is a 2019 Tacoma and this was built for SEMA 2019. Basically what we have is with the TRD Pro you get the rear locking diff. This is a manual transmission so it is geared at a 430 which is fine but when you're towing I'm actually thinking of going up to 488 or even 529 especially with all the weight. As this truck sits I actually just weighed it last week I am at 5,700 pounds. The dry curb weight of a Tacoma is like 4,500 pounds. So I'm, I'm a good amount over, over payload, especially when I'm towing. We have about 33 inch KM3s with the Icon wheels. And then up front we have the CBI. Uh, they call it like a covert bumper because it's not high clearance. It's not taking out too much. And this is the Warren winch with the factor 55 link, ARB, I have the ARB dual compressor with the quick connect right there, which is really nice. And then I do have it supercharged with the Magnuson supercharger, which is really nice. I've had a Tacoma that wasn't supercharged and it's, it's pretty gutless. It's a game changer to have the supercharger on there. And the snorkel, just for show, of course. <laughs> uh, Rhino rack with some recovery gear up there. High clearance CBI off-road bumper with some more recovery gear and the rotopacks. And then I did just install the weight distribution system because the Tacoma is an awesome rig, but not the best for towing. And I was squatting quite a bit. So we do have the stage 10 Icon suspension, which is adjustable. Um, so if you're heavy loaded and you're driving fast, like on the freeway, I'm at, I maxed out on stiffness. And then if I unhook the trailer and I set up base camp and then I go crawling on some trails, I can actually go a lot softer. I love the adjustability with the icon. And I do have the soft topper, so if it's raining or super dusty, I'll pop that up. And then I've got, a, I've got an auxiliary battery hookup for all the accessories, but also a 12 volt cigarette lighter running to the bed so I can run the cooler even when the truck is off. I took off the, the spare tire swing out so that I could fit mountain bikes and I just popped the spare tire back underneath. It barely fits. Might as well show you a few things on the inside. Manual transmission. I do have, you gotta have a brake controller if you don't have one. So I have the Red Arc Tow Pro. This is the Expedition Essentials with um, ram mounts. I have the Midland radio and I have this nice little backup. This is a better shot of the hitch. So when I'm hooking up the trailer, that's a better shot. That's my easy way to hook up and yeah i absolutely love this truck it has everything i need it's not too big so i'm not you know going crazy scratching the sides when i'm on tight trails but it's it's um it's enough to at least tow the dweller 15 so we love it that's pretty much everything on the tow vehicle let's look at this um this new rig behind us which is actually my new home so my wife and I moved out of our house last week and this is our new house. So everything we own is, you're looking at it basically. So this is a 2022 Dweller 15 uh, made by OBI, which stands for Outback Innovations. It's an Australian design. They basically have two models right now, the Dweller 13 and the Dweller 15. The reason we love the Dweller so much and chose it over all of the other rigs out there is because it's, it's kind of the heaviest trailer that I would want to tow with my Tacoma, uh, weight-wise, but also surface area, because surface area is a huge factor when you're towing. This has the roof that pops down, the rear extends out, so it's small enough to tow, but big enough to live in. It has tons of storage. Check this out right here is um, two slide-out trays, and I don't even have everything in here right now, but you know, my hammock, some chairs, and I have a like two big bags of tools that I'm gonna put in here. So the storage is just amazing. We've got everything we need, our travel bags, laundry detergent, all the good stuff, <clears throat> and like heaps of storage. We're never wanting for storage in this. As far as other capacities, it has 52 gallons of water, and that is separated into two tanks, so it distributes it evenly. And then it has a gray water tank. I think it's around 22 gallons 
The reason it's not uh, as big is because the kitchen's actually outside. So the gray water is only for the indoor shower and the indoor sink. And then it has an outdoor shower and the toilet is a cassette toilet, which has its own tank. So this, this actually holds five gallons of water. You've got basically 57 gallons of fresh water and it, it has a separate five gallon gray tank. If you've seen these, these are one of my favorites because I can just pop this toilet out and put it in a pit toilet at a forest service station or at a gas station or any RV dump. So I'm a huge fan of those. They're not limiting my off-grid capabilities. Um, and then it does have 300 watts of solar, 300 amps of battery. I've been camping off-grid for five days and on the fifth day I had 100% battery because the solar panels just keep up with all the power consumption. And it does have a 2000 watt inverter. So we were off-grid running our blender, uh, running, charging a laptop, running the TV. So the inverter is really nice. All the components are name brand. So the inverters are Renogy, solar panels, batteries, Renogy, and the hot water heater is the Truma Combi. The air conditioner is a Houghton out of Australia. Everything's name brand, it's really nice. Uh, so let me jump inside. Maybe you can do like a time-lapse of me setting it up, see how fast it is. It really only takes me a second. There it is all set up, less than two minutes. It's really easy to set up. Let me show you inside now. Welcome inside, welcome to my new home. This is the bunk. We took out the mattress. We found these four uh, cargo bins that fit perfectly so they don't move around at all. And we can bring the roof down and they don't need to be moved at all. The bench, this is the lagoon table so it swivels out and comes out into the hallway so you can sit down and eat. There's actually storage underneath the bunk. We've got some stuff down there. We've got all of our books right in here. And then the best part about this, my new home, is the bed. It's almost a king size bed. I think they call it an RV king and it is extremely comfortable. So, and it just takes a second to pop out. So it basically has a, like a crease in the bed and you can just fold it in half. And that's how you can bring the back extension in and you can't even feel that crease in the bed. It's extremely comfortable. You can keep your bedding and your pillows. They just kind of fold in with the bed. So that all stays there. And I've been sleeping like a baby. Um, and then over here, we've got storage. I've, that's, this is where we put our dirty clothes. And I've got clothes in here, here, here. This is all cooking stuff, utensils. We've got everything we need in here. This is our pantry. It's huge. Like I could fit in there. It's, it's, everything we need. I thought we were gonna have to throw a bunch of stuff away, but we had room for everything. Here's the bathroom, the cassette toilet, shower, a little sink in there. I fit wonderfully. I'm 6'4", and let me tell you, there are a lot of trailers I've been in that I don't, I have to duck in the shower. My head's sticking up in, into the vent. So I love this pop top because it's small when towing, and inside I don't have to worry about bonking my head on stuff. That's the trailer that's inside. Hey guys, this is Nate with a quick update. I am out here camping in Northern Georgia and it is beautiful. Fireflies are out, which has been fun. We don't have fireflies in Utah. And here's a quick view of the outdoor cooking setup on the dweller. 95 liter dual zone has been great. I'm using the right zone as a fridge and the left zone as a freezer because I brought a lot of frozen meat with me and got some goodies, of course. And then this has been great, the fold down countertop for prepping and drying dishes. I can keep all my cooking essentials in this spot. And the sink has hot and cold water, which has made washing dishes wonderful. And then the stove is a two burner. This burner cooks really fast, I've been impressed. And then this is a slide out countertop. It slides over the top of all this and just using it for chopping up veggies and prepping. And then slide out utensil drawer. It's been great, I'm loving it. Comment if you have any questions, let me know what you guys think. Peace out, see you next time.